Hi guys, so sorry if I, I never really scheduled this. It's completely impromptu. Um, basically, Linda G, oh, there you are. I think Linda G's on. So Linda G was like, will you look into this? Let's look into this, okay? So, so I was like, yes, because yesterday I was doing a reading. I think I was here doing live readings and then, oh, no, actually it was after, but basically I didn't see Oprah's speech live. People were talking about her on Twitter, so I looked, I watched it, and it's amazing. It was so amazing. Everybody, I cried, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, so there was a lot of talk on Twitter about her becoming the next president. So Linda G asked, can, basically this morning, I was like, you know what? Maybe that's a good idea, because the other thing that I read that was very telling was that Stedman, her partner, was interviewed and asked about her running for president, and he said, and I quote something like this, like, it's up to the American people. I think she would be into it. Okay, so that's very telling because he's basically, it's official, okay? So what I did is like, it's funny, I had done one like box, four, nine card reading, and I was like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's inconclusive. I think yes, but it was too broad. And I thought, you know what, the best way to look into this is to separate the reading into several years because if she's going to be the president, then it's important to look at now, which is 2018, and then 2019, 2020, and 21. Because if the elections are not, uh, 2020, then 21, that's when whoever the next president is, is going to be, like, who's, who's going to be in the office, okay? So anyway, okay. So, um, all right. So let me just, I just want to read you the cards, okay? Because I, I was like, I'm, I'm, I like organized the spread and I've done it because I just want to get to it. Okay. All right. So this is the, so I did, there are, it's like 14 positions, seven columns. So three of the first columns are 2018. The center column is, is the current situation. And then the next years. Okay. 19, 20, 21. All right. So this is, um, averting death. Okay. Moving on to something better. Okay. This position and we're in and temperance balance okay and then this is a card of large amounts of money but i all i remember this card came up with the dreamers okay this fish card because i think if you think of a fish it's large numbers of people groups of people banded together with the same in the same circumstance too it's not just money it's abundance so what i feel like we want to move away from this horrible situation that we're in, this deathly situation, and we want balance. We doubt, I think every single person in this country wants peace of mind and balance, and that's this card, okay? And we want real abundance in the sense of like using the resources correctly, like not wasting them on, on, on Trump's bullshit, okay? So that's the circumstance. I think there's a real wish to move on from the situation that we're in, and to see to create balance okay and to 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 create real abundance for the country not just give have the i don't just say want to pour like anybody who is not a one percenter have to pay for it for the lifestyles of the one percenter which is basically the tax code that they've created now okay all right so so that's the current situation now it's interesting because if i look at now i'm going to look at the three columns that define the current situation okay that explain it further now this is interesting because this is a connection a business deal also a marriage and as a ring so there's some sort of connection you know what i feel like when i see this i see pact there was a pact and this is emperor empress it could all this could be oprah but it could also be the country and i've said before when i've seen a lot of the cards that relate to these like the freaks that are like steve bannon it's like they want to empower, this is a, the country in abundance, okay? Like people like Stephen, they want the country like this. So so this is a, a country, the abundance of the country and the reputation. So I feel like, and I'll, I'll show you the next cards which will make more sense. I almost, I don't know if this is Obama, I'll show you here, there's a new person coming who wants to avert defeat, okay? And man here. So I almost feel like, I don't think this is Stedman. 
I think this is almost like Obama because as you see here, there's a key. So there's a, an entanglement here and the key. Now I've said before that in the Lenormand card, like in this, the style of readings that I've started doing, which is Tarot and Lenormand combined, the Lenormand takes precedence and tells the facts, okay? And everything underneath is color, okay? So basically what I see when I look at the Lenormand, it's as if she decided that she, she almost like maybe Obama was like, look, look up her, I'll be there for you, whatever you want. And remember like there was a picture of her with Michelle Obama, I think yesterday, okay? So Obama was like, look, whatever you wanna do, I support you. Cause the key, the solution here, okay? There's a key. So the key, is that she has a good relationship with this man, okay? They connected and they were like, let's work on this country's reputation again. And I have your, you have my support, okay? For whatever you want. And this is the sun, right? After this, you have the sun. Let me show you the Lenormans and then I'll, you know what? Let me do this like this because it is gonna make more sense if I do it like this and I'll show you the colors as, as as they go along, okay, as, as they appear, because otherwise it's gonna be a mess, all right? Okay, so so it's a, a deal to work about the professional reputation and the reputation of the country. The deal with the man, okay, probably Obama, I think, and the solution. So the, this man is the key to, to um, her running, if she decides to run, okay? Now, this is a child here. Now, that's interesting because, um, it's a new person. So there's a deal about a new beginning or a new person, okay? I think it could be her here. And success, a new person brings success, okay? A new person, the key to America's place in the world, it's like there's a solution to America's place in the world, the solution is successful, okay? And the success comes through a new person, new person supported by the gentleman, Okay, and there was a deal in the very beginning, and and the whole thing is about moving to better waters, moving to better things, and there's already obviously she has money of her own, but there's also like a large number of like I th I see fish too as like I said a large group of people connected in the same circumstance. Okay, that's it. Now moving on, and, and like I said, there's uh, this person. The, it's like people want to move away from this horrible situation, okay? So quickly now, um, so that's the circumstance and then where we are up to today. So I'm going to ha uh, put these cards down and show you what's next for 2019 to 20 and to 21, okay? All right. And then and then we'll look at the whole thing again, but I just wanted to show you. So, so this is the circumstance, this is, where we are up to today, okay? So, so in 2019, the world is upside down. So I feel like we are still yet, unfortunately, I think we are going to face the consequences of Trump, the Trump presidency leader. Okay, this is like, okay guys, this is like, it's gonna be like such a funny story and it's like, for you, it's probably gonna sound like crazy because this is what I, this is the image that came to me. Um, I, um, so I grew up in Rio, okay, in Brazil. And Rio, there's like a lot, there are some areas that have tropical, like not the city itself, but there's some like mountainous regions within the city itself. And then in these areas of where you have a lot of trees and a lot of like the mountainous, some mountainous areas, there's a lot of animal and there's a, and there's a botanical garden I think they do it on, on and there was like a lot of um, environmental effort to keep the species there or whatever. So there's all these like monkeys and like real like larger ones too. But if you live in that neighborhood, they can actually like go in your house. Like you have to keep your windows closed because they go in your house and they make a mess. And when you, they th you think they're so cute and funny or whatever. So then when you like, they, they go into your house and they like, break everything, they, they eat all the food and they shit all the race. That's what I feel like the Trump presidency, like that's what we're gonna have to deal with. They're gonna have to clean up all their mess because they ate everything, they fucked everything up and it's a huge mess. So that's what I think, think this Carl here is that the world's upside down and we want health, okay? And quickly, 
I think even though this is where we are at, it quickly things improve and we go back to our feet. But that's, you know, we go back to the dreams, we go back to the networks, okay? So of people, of hope, okay? But that's where it's coming from, all right? Now, this is, um, and then again, in the landscape, it's this other card is repeating a little bit of what this was saying. In the landscape of what was happening before, okay, the, the country upside down, a good person comes, okay? And I think, and this is 2020, okay? Good person comes and enters the picture, suddenly enters the picture. This is a, when the, the writer card comes, it means a new person enters the picture. Okay, new persons, news, but it's saying like whenever you see the writer in the reading, the writer is always like a new, like it's not somebody that is like a new, it's a shift, it's a change, but it's like a new actor or a new circumstance, something new, but it's pointing to the dog. So a new good person emerges that is going to bring health and it's news about hope, being hopeful again, okay? I remember how, you know, it's so interesting because she said, that she was explaining, she was giving the example of the lady, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot her name, but it was African-American woman who was brutally raped. And the people um, who did this to her were never prosecuted, okay? But she said the remarkable, and, and Rosa Parks was involved in bringing justice to her, to this woman. And she said one of the remarkable things about those people who, are remark wonderful people is that they always have they have hope in the darkest moments. Okay, so that's very important because now I'm getting goosebumps. But basically, it's like news of hope again. This new person brings hope. Good person because it's, it's the dog. Okay. Now, oh my God, get goosebumps, guys. You guys, okay. So in the landscape, and I feel like okay, this is it doesn't have to be bad, but I feel like this is probably the feeling in America, like there may be some sort of recession until then. Okay, this is 2021 or like that we may have lost the status. I don't know exactly, but this is just the, the maybe a little bit of the background. Okay, so, okay. Guys, are you ready for this? This is the last, this is the last um, row, 2021. And the, remember the question. The chances for Oprah being the next president. Am I getting <laughs> the house, guys? The White House. Okay, so that's Oprah in a house, White House. Okay, so so I feel like, and let me show. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. Still have goosebumps. So this is a the, this is a card of love. I've talked about this. Like I feel like this is a card of religious love, also. You know, in the sense of of purity. Okay, so okay, so this is it. Uh, Ace of Cups. So what do we have underneath? We have, and that, let me just speak, we'll talk about this now. So health, spiritual health through a good person leads to the White House, leads to a house, okay? And spiritual growth and spiritual health, okay, hope. News of this good person that brings hope, okay? good person in the house the white house okay in public so and i said like i said i had just showed you that uh, i can maybe didn't show let me show the card here the cups hold on oh here it is so underneath i had talked about the other cards but basically underneath the public is the public is very happy this is a society okay so society has new hope new society this is society okay hope new news of hope in the society okay news of dreams society again and you have the love underneath the public so the public is very happy about this and it feels that the new white house can turn things around okay can really make things better and there's good people there's news of good people okay so i feel like what happens i feel like okay this year okay right now Oprah has made a deal in a way, okay? Like not in the deal of like signed a piece of paper, but I almost feel like like a spiritual pact, okay? And I think Obama probably was like, look, um, whatever you need, you, I have, you have me, 
Okay, let me show you all. If I can hold, I'm trying to hold. Anyway, I'm supporting you, okay, no matter what. All right, let me show you the order of the cards. I'm, I'm just organizing them, okay? So, so no matter what, you have me here, all right? And uh, I could, you know, he could help her out because we need to move on from this horrible situation that the country is in right now, okay? And and uh, I think she, she has, it's interesting because I think she has fish here and fish, like I said, is abundance, but it's also large numbers of people who are following the same vibe, okay? Okay, and then hold on, hold on, so I wanna put this down for one second because I wanna show you with one hand, one thing and the other hand, this one, okay? So this was here, this one, no, so. so yeah, so I feel like just telling the whole story here, hopefully I can handle. Yeah. Yeah, so like the deal about the mayor, they wanna fix America's reputation. And the way to do that is having a new person or new candidate. And I think the candidate, new candidate really is Oprah. Okay. And then there's a deal about her doing this. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so so that's that. Okay, so we have this part of the reading here that tells you about everything up to the shift. This starts here. The ring, the reputation, the moon here, the reputation, the man with a key, the child with the sun, and then finally the center. Because actually, by the way, the video turns out like it's it flips for some reason. So this is like the right, okay? This is where we are moving on to better abundance. And then here on the other side is the future, okay? So we have uh, the growth of hope again. We have news of, a, of the dog, news of a good person. And we have the public happy with the White House, with the new White House, okay? so. So I feel like what I feel like from what I've seen here, okay, is that she and 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 to be fair, okay, um, it's possible that the, the dog could be another person, but since the reading is about her, and there's no reason why another person would show up here, I don't think. I feel like because I separated the last columns by year, I feel like she spends 2019 having very in-depth conversations about hope, about growing hope again in this country. And in 2019, she runs, okay? Because you have, I'll show you again here, the dog, this is 2019, okay? So the good person, yes, yes, yeah. No, but I think it's like, Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like this is the dog and news of a good person. Okay. And then this is 2000 and no, no, this is 220. So I feel like there 2019 she talks, but she really only runs in 220. I feel like it only really becomes, it only really becomes, um, news in 220, probably because of what Linda just said. Um, like that they don't want it they don't want it to like give them too much time okay so only in 220 she really runs like she's only going to come out on the year of the election she's going to have a lot of talk and of course she's oprah so it's not like anybody needs to like oh who's oprah like hello are you like like everybody knows oprah is okay so she doesn't need to like tell people about who she is everybody already knows who she is so so basically like i said i think she really her candidacy becomes official into 20 and here there's she's at the house so what house is this hello it's the white house and the public like i said is happy the public right underneath here is the society society was happy okay society was happy okay but i think what what's ha like here society society in the house white house good person in the white house 
new news in the public. So news in the public about her running is going to come 2020 and 21. She's, she's at the house. Now, Linda said, I'm getting so much resistance from evil. Yes, she would have to a strong man connect to the political arena. She will change for the good. So, so that's what I think at the beginning here. Like I said, she has a connection. Let's re, like just going back to what Linda's saying here. There's a relationship with a man. There's a relationship. There's a ring here. She makes a pact with someone. And you know how Oprah is. Like she knows the vibes of people. Oprah is not going to be connected with a person who is shady. Like because she could tell. She's just like, hmm. I know. She's like. She's better than anybody, like, right? Who, she knows. She knows who the good people are. She could feel it. She knows it. So, so anyway, so I feel like here you have, let me just go back. I'm like, so many, okay. Uh, and then what was this? Uh, yeah, right next to her was the man. Okay. So we have here the man. And the man wants to avert defeat. Like, oh my God, a mess. What a mess. Jesus. So I've like put up, like, where is that card? Yeah, so it was like the averting the five of swords upside down. It was averting defeat. Where is it? Oh my God. Oh yeah, the card that came after was like nine of cups. So I'm like, I hope so. So anyway, so <clears throat> I don't know where it is. I don't know where it went, but basically, oh, here it is. Okay. So yeah, right underneath the, the person who wants to avert defeat is the man here. And what I feel this means is that he's telling her, look, we need to get out of the situation. I can help you avert defeat. It's and this man here is very cold minded in the sense way of like, okay, let's look at reality. Not that she, not that she is not herself cold minded. Like she's, she's realistic, you know, she's a not dreamer, but you know, she knows she's a spiritual person, like very, very, oh, of course, of course she's, but he's like, okay, let's try to remove the country from this horrible mess. But at the same time, he can guide her through the difficulties of the politics. If, if it's because that's what Linda says. She, Linda is saying, she needs a man who knows about this. And that's what I believe too. So, but then their goal is the reputation to restore the, the, the full, the empress. I think here it could be her too. Empress could be Oprah. And in a way it's like, she is the empress of the country and the country is her, right? Because abundance is connected to the reputation of the country. So she wants to restore and to keep the country in a good spot, okay? And um, just looking, at, what was after this? Oh yeah, the key. So the key, the key is right here. So this man really is key because he's like, obviously, especially looking at Trump, you can't get into politics anymore without really knowing what to do. I think, you know what, she, she's just, I think Oprah, honestly, she's leadership personified. Like she's a person who, you want to listen to who can guide you who can not just guide you in like a cheap way but kind of like she knows the truth okay she knows what matters basically okay so so the pact of she and the man i think decide that there's a new person is needed it's probably her she's not a new person because we know her but you know what i'm saying sort of like a new and this is successful okay there's success and there, of course, there, and, and it's interesting because the new person is an, is an Armit. So Armit, hi, hi Maggie. So the Armit is, Armit is, is like a person who's, who's looks, who has an internal locus of control. Okay. So she's looking inside. She's looking into the spiritual meaning of everything. Okay. So, so that's what, that's why I think that's the motivation of the background. And I think it's like all about moving, moving the fish, like moving all the, the population to something better. And that's when everything moves further. I mean, and like I said, I, I guys, I know one of the readings I want to do is, is to look at everybody who, who has chances of being president. Hi, uh, Diane. So, so like I said, I looked into everybody who not looked. I wanted to look into everybody who I think has chances of being president in another reading. And that includes Kamala Harris. I really love Kamala Harris. So if she doesn't run, then maybe Kamala Harris, who knows? Um, and then, but I haven't done it yet. So it's just, this is just about the, the potential and possibility for, for um, Oprah to be the next president. And, and as you've said, and, I've, and I, as I have showed you, there's definitely possibility that she could be in the White House in 21. Okay. 
So, um, cause that's the last card It's like, there she is at the white house and society is happy that she's at the white house. So, um, somebody asked a question. Yes. Yes. Bridget said, okay, let me copy this. I don't know how you do this here. I don't know if, I don't know if, how it's going to, I'm going to paste. Oprah gave Obama. Here's her question. Okay. I don't know how. I don't know how this works, but basically this is a question from Bridget. I can mean for her name. So, so, okay. So yeah, Bridget asked this question. O Oprah gave Obama a boost. Yeah, I think that's what I think. Like, but I think it's like, it's definitely possible, okay? that um that like obama it's like okay so oh my god can you believe that 20 can you believe you guys diane is saying here 25 percent of all retail goods sold in the u.s were attributed to oprah's recommendations before she left her show can you believe that and another very interesting thing about oprah if you think about am i getting booze bumps oh my god because i feel like oprah she achieved she's already achieved everything right she she's already at the top of her profession, like, right? She's already almost in a way, almost exited her main, it's not obviously her, she has her channel and everything, but she does not, no longer has her daily show, right? So I feel like she's in a position, like she doesn't have anything, unlike Trump, she's obviously like not in debt. You know what I mean? She also read books, yeah, exactly. Like. So she's not in she's not in debt, okay? She's not somebody who needs Russians to to fund her campaign, okay? Um, and she's and Oprah obviously be like, excuse me, Vladimir, I think you're you're really it's like imagine she she won't even like deal with these people, like bye. She doesn't care. You know, she's like tells it like it is. And people I think in a way are afraid of her because she knows the truth. She instead of like Mueller, okay, Mueller knows truth, like you know, in a different way, but Mueller is about truth. So it's not like you can be like, fake news, bullshit, whatever, like, hmm. bye. Mueller is like, hmm. The same thing with, with, she knows what matters. Like, I feel like she's a spiritual leader, if anything. I know, I know, you know, there's like, people said, oh, Oprah, she's just like, this like optimism lady, whatever, no. But I think she knows what matters. Exactly, black women will say, I feel like, you know what happened to me, guys, too? Like, honestly, after, I feel like, you know, this whole election thing, I feel like I've not, I haven't done enough. I haven't done enough. And I feel like after, especially Doug Jones, I feel like black women are the future of this country. Okay. And I think like, like if you don't support black women, like it's over, you know what I mean? Like, I think you, I, I trust black women, like for like, you ha because everybody like, okay, I can't even, I mean, I'm going to start Randy. Okay. Randy right now, but like, you even if you saw the whole thing with the golden globes right it was very interesting i mean i wasn't seeing because i was i was reading, reading zero which i was happy about but then i saw the whole thing how everybody wore black and then there was this article right now not now like today about how the men who won things they never they said nothing so i feel like you know what even the men in like the best circumstances like <coughs> The, like they're not gonna do anything. I'm sorry, even if you're liberal, like you need women, you need women and you need black women. Like, I'm sorry, like, okay, okay. Like, uh, like I'm gonna huff and puff. But like even that woman, Kristen Gillibrand, her name, I'm like, dude, I don't want like, I do not want another like Gwyneth Paltrow wanna be bitch or whatever. Like I don't, I'm done, I'm done with these women, like annoying, whatever. Like, okay, okay. So anyway, like I said, if not Oprah, then I definitely, I'm gonna go for Kamala Harris. I, Kamala, I love Kamala Harris. I love, okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. I love Kamala Harris, okay? Um, I love her, like I really love, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my video is like 30 minutes me saying, I love Kamala Harris. I love Kamala Harris, I love Kamala. And I feel like, <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, so it's not about, this is about Oprah, but basically, um, and, and then I did a reading, I feel like, because I had started a, new, a video and then I stopped because I was like, you know, let me go live. That's much better. But right after the um, Doug Jones win, I was on Twitter. I'm mean, gonna feel like my life is like and like pathetic. I'm on Twitter and I'm here. That's my life. So, so I, I saw I read about this candidate, 
African American candidate. Her name is Stacey Adams. She's going. To, she's she already like really. Uh, what is it? She she announced her candidacy for for governor of Georgia. Okay, so I was like, oh, let me because I I got very excited about the Doug Jones thing when um when I when I got the prediction right. I was like, oh my god, so let me find let me do candidates that no like I never heard of her, so let me do her. So hopefully, you know, something I find out something, and I didn't have whatever, like it's Georgia, you know, it's like, like, it's sort of like, in a way, somewhat similar to Alabama, worse than it has that disgusting, I want to do reading on her, by the way, Karen Handel, whose husband owns voting machines, hello, hello. So anyway, so, um, so, anyway, so, so Stacey Adams, so she is a very interesting person. She went to the Yale Law School, okay, she's extremely qualified, she's a great person, she's a house minority leader in Georgia. And can you believe that she's like ultra cult? She's so amazing. She's like so interesting. See, so she wrote a book about some legal thing that I can't even explain to you guys when she was at Yale Law, Law School. And at the same time, she wrote a romance novel. She published both. Of, isn't that cool? That is, I was like, this, this is so cool. Like what a cool person. Okay. So anyway, so I, she, she definitely has chances of becoming the the next Georgia governor. I have to, I have to, because I, I created a little, it was before I started doing live readings. I've already created the, the web page for this, so I just have to read it. I think she's going to be the governor of Georgia, African-American woman, so I'm very excited. So basically what I'm saying is like, I support African-American women for whatever they're running, as, and then I said, except Omarosa. But anyway, so because, um, yeah, it's just like, in general, okay? Um, but I love, I mean, obviously Oprah, like I said, she does have great chances here, and I think there's a man who supported her, who says like, and there's an emotional connection with this man. And I think it's a pact that this man is gonna help her, okay? So and it's possible, like I said, that it's Obama. And there she was at the dinner with Michelle. I mean, of course she and Michelle are gonna be together because they're both like queens, okay? But together as friends, right? Like they're supporting each other, but Obama, Obama knows how the government works. Michelle herself, she has said many times, I don't want to run, I don't like the government, I don't want to do that. But Obama probably will, okay? And Obama is a great person, as we know, okay? So so that's the story, okay? So I think I don't want to ramble on. I've, I've talked, I've talked more than I should. I'm like talking about nothing. So anyway, so yeah, so the chances are good for, for very good for, for Oprah. And I think, you know, interesting because like, what kind of, think about it. These Republicans, they're obsessed about the media, right? They're like all about controlling the media. And only if, I'm sorry, but only a fool is gonna attack Oprah. What kind of person is gonna attack Oprah? Are they gonna say what? Like, it's like, because you know, the whole thing here is racism. They're like, oh, she's black. Like that's it, that's, that's like, that's really the essence of how they're gonna attack her because there's nothing really gonna attack her about. Okay. Yeah, or yeah, exactly. Like oh, oh, talking about how Kamala was like hmm, talking to Jeff Sessions. She's like, "Can you just answer the questions?" Because she was Attorney General, I think, too. Anyway, so so yeah, so so basically, I feel like there's nothing. What are you gonna like? Are you gonna say like who's gonna attack Oprah? Are you gonna say to Oprah like Oprah, you are. Like that's the, the, there's the link, the strength or the criticism is racism. It's like, oh, oh, Ob uh, oh, Obama was black. She's black. I don't, we don't like black people. Okay. What are they going to say? Oh, uh, she, she's basically, exactly, exactly. She's not motivated by greed and power. She won't be bribed. She's motivated. Exactly. She's motivated. Exactly. She's motivated. She's like, you know what? I'm watching. I'm not going to do anything. And then she's going to do something. Okay. And, <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, I just feel like, the attacks that she has suffered, and I was I watched it one uh, lecture um, interview with her about how she was. Can you imagine? Like she was she was a, an anchor in I think college. I forgot. She started getting promoted, and 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 there was a man who was like, "Why do you want to make?" She was like, "I need to be paid exactly the same as men." And the guy was like, "Well, you don't have kids, so." And she's like, "Well, guess what? I'm going out that door. Bye." She left. I think I forgot exactly. She, I don't know exactly what she said, but something like that. She really, she's been dealing with this her whole life, so she knows better than anybody almost. 
what it's like to deal with these things, with prejudice and all those horrors. It's just like not new for her. Like, okay. Oh, and the other person, oh my God. I'm like, I can't, I've never, I'm not never gonna do any harm because like, I don't wanna find out anything because I love her so much. Maxine, okay, Maxine. Maxime, I said, am I saying Maxime? Am I right? Maxine, I want to say Maxine. I love her. Oh my God. I hope, I always like pray for her. She's so great. She's so great. And I was like, I don't think, but I don't think she wants to be, yes, Maxine Waters. I don't know why I say Maxine. Maxine Waters. I love her. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love her. She's the best. She's always like, Trump is going to be impeached. She's, he's going to be impeached. He is just, he's a criminal. She's always like, she's been the same. Yeah, she's always been saying the same thing. And she was like, she's harassed by those like KKK people, like right by part people, whatever. Like she's constantly harassed by them. She doesn't care. I mean, not she doesn't care. It was a horrible thing, but they don't give up. Okay, African-American women don't give up and, and they care about justice fundamentally. Okay, so anyway, all right. So, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I don't want to be reductive, like, but I just like, I don't know. I just love these women, all of them. And I think like, I just don't, um, I hope, you know, like I said here, Oprah, Oprah has great chances. Okay. So like I, I said, I was not going to talk and here I am talking and I don't want to like waste your time and waste your day. Okay. On, on me ranting, going off. But so you, you got the answer. Okay. About Oprah. And and that's that. So I'm gonna say say goodbye. Okay. Yes, April Ryan. Her faces are the best. Oh my god, I love her. She's like, hmm. you know, if you've seen the the gifts of April Ryan, are the best. She's like, hmm. She, yeah. Anyway, so um, okay. So that's that. I'm gonna say goodbye, guys. And and uh, tomorrow I'm on. I'm gonna go back. Come back to do more readings about Republicans. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye. I always say like, okay, bye, 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 bye. All right, no. Um, so yeah, have a good day, guys. Have a good week. All right, see you later. Bye, bye.